Welcome to this video. As many of you already know, CCleaner was hacked. And because I use this program in a lot of my videos, I thought I'd go ahead and address this issue. Uh, I don't really have any new information to release other than what's already been put out there. But again, because I do use this program, I thought I'd go ahead and briefly go over it here on my channel. Please be aware I will be listing links down below in the notes so that way you can get to the blog post that I am citing just so you can confirm or verify the information that I am going over. But basically here up on your screen I am on Periform's blog post. Now for those of you who do not know, Periform is the company that makes CCleaner and they are owned by Avast which is a very large security company, uh, ironically. But here on Periform's website you can see I've highlighted part of the blog, and I just want to read this to you. It says, A suspicious activity was identified on September 12, 2017, where we saw an unknown IP address receiving data from software found in version 5.33.6162 of CCleaner and CCleaner Cloud version 1.07.3191 on 32-bit window systems. Now, whether you're using 32-bit or 64-bit, I would still strongly recommend that you double-check if you are running CCleaner on your computer. The way you do that, I'm just going to pull up an example here, is if you open up CCleaner, in the top left corner, it will list the version number that you are running. If you are running the infected version, which again is listed right here, if you are running that infected version, you need to immediately update because they have released an update to patch this exploit. If you're using the cloud version, that update is already live. If you're using the paid version of CCleaner, you should have automatic updates running, but I would still double check. If you're using the free version, you absolutely need to update now. In order to update, you will need to come to this page, and I will list this link down below in the notes. You just come here, download CCleaner, install it. It will install the latest update with the patch and then you will be protected from this specific exploit. Now if you've completely lost faith or trust in this program, the other option is you can just uninstall and remove it. That's completely fine. Just to be clear, whenever I work on a client's computer and I install programs, I always remove them after I am finished. It's very unprofessional to leave programs installed on the the computer. That would be the same as if you hired me to come paint your house and I left a paint can and paintbrush and other stuff just lying around. That's very unprofessional. And so again, whenever I do work on a computer, I do always remove CCleaner, Super Anti-Spyware, and Malwarebytes unless the client specifically requests that I do not remove them. One bit of information I do want to clarify, again going off of information that Avast and Periform have released, even though over 2 million computers were infected, only a handful were actually attacked, specifically telecommunication companies and some tech companies, but there's no evidence as of yet that any individual civilian computer users of CCleaner were attacked. There's no evidence of that. And so if you're just a home user of CCleaner, even if you were infected, again, Going off the information that Avast and Periform have released, there's no evidence that individual users were attacked, only infected. Now, whether you decide to just update CCleaner or remove it completely, I would strongly recommend that whichever antivirus you're using, go ahead and open it up. And once you have it opened, go ahead and just update it so it has the latest definitions. And then once it's updated, also make sure that you just go ahead and run a full system scan just to confirm and verify that no other additional infections or anything else got on the computer. So again, whichever antivirus program you're using, find it, open it, update it, run a full system scan. In addition to running a full scan from your antivirus software, I would also recommend running a full scan from the free version of Malwarebytes I will list a link down below in the notes where you can download this for free. Once you have it installed and open, just come over here and click just to make sure it is up to date. And then once you do that, you can go ahead and just click on scan now, just so it can also confirm that there's no other infections on the computer. Likewise, I would also recommend running the free version of Super Anti-Spyware. Again, I will list the link down below in the notes. After you've downloaded and installed it, 
Just make sure that it is up to date with the latest definitions. And then after you do that, go ahead and scan the computer and do a complete scan. Again, just to confirm and verify that nothing else got onto your computer. The last point I do want to address is for those of you who watch or follow my videos, you'll notice that I very strongly recommend many times that if there's a program you're not using, you should remove it. And in addition, I strongly recommend that you remove all extensions off of your web browsers with one exception, that being your extension for a password keeper or password vault. CCleaner has illustrated why I make those recommendations because any legitimate program, legitimate app, or legitimate extension can be hijacked and weaponized for malicious intent. So again, please remove all extensions off of your browsers. Again, the only exception should be your password keeper or password vault extension if you have one. And if there's a program on your computer that you don't use, it just sits there, remove it. It's just another way to protect yourself in case anything does happen to that particular program. You don't have to worry about it because it's no longer on the computer.